Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you a new part of my website. So almost exactly one year ago to the day I had contacted Jason of Herkel Studios to begin making this um, corset designer program that is sort of reminiscent of a dress up paper doll. So you come to my website LucyCorsetry.com and you click on the designer tab right here. And I have heard horror stories of people who requested something like a black corset with red boning channels and they ended up getting something like an orange corset with black boning channels because of miscommunication or a language barrier. or So I wanted to make something that corseteers and clients alike can play with and they can use to communicate so both parties really understand what the client wants. So here you can see that we're at the designer page. And when you refresh the page, it's uh, it gives you sort of a random color combination here. So this project was a collaboration between myself, also Jason of Herkel Studios who did all the programming, and also Christine who has a YouTube channel here. She goes by the name A Girl From Down Under. So, so I will link her YouTube page up at the corner right there. So she did all the graphics work. So this was an entire year's work for all three of us. So let's just get started with the tutorial here. So with the current options, there are over 2,000 possible combinations you can make, and that does not include color options, actually. The colors make the combinations infinite. So you have the choice of three different main fabrics. Right here you have the satin. It has a little bit of a sheen. If you press it to the right, it will give you a twill. And the twill actually has a little bit of that diagonal texture going on there. It doesn't show up very well on my screen, but it might show up a little bit better on yours. And if you go here again, then it gives you the satin option. Did I say satin before? There, there's silk and then there's satin. So um, obviously if you were to commission a corset with silk, it would likely cost more. So some corseteers do uh, they do custom dye jobs, so you can basically choose whatever you want, but other corseteers they don't. So uh, just keep that in mind when you are trying to choose what color your corset is, because um, some corseteers they might just have to do the closest possible approximation depending on what sort of fabrics they can source from the Silk Baron or whatnot. So there's another option here, which is called Zebra Print. So this is actually a placeholder for now. So of course, tears, this is your chance to collaborate. If you have swatches of your in-stock fashion fabrics, something like floral or dragon brocade or dot coutille or anything else, you can actually submit them to be used as an underlay here. And this is advertising for you because anybody who chooses this special fabric option will know that they can get this corset by commissioning through you. So let's move on to the top length of the corset. I'm actually going to change that. Let's make this like a dark red. And now let's choose the, the top length. So you can have it as an overbust, you can have it as a cincher, which is a little bit of a shorter underbust. You can see it doesn't go right up to the bust line there. And you can have it as a full underbust. And I'm going to make it a a full underbust there and you can also choose the shape of that top edge so whether you want it pointed, whether you want it rounded, or whether you just want it straight across there. You can see that is the line that is changing right there. Now if you want to keep it as an overbust, you can have it with a pointed neckline, you can have it with a straight across neckline, which is a little bit more uh, Elizabethan style I guess, or you can have it as a sweetheart neckline. But I'm actually going to turn this into an underbust. So let's go to the bottom edge and change that. So right now it's at a long line. I'm going to change this to a rounded long line so you can see the difference there. There you can see that it's a true long line. But you can also make it a short hip if you wanted it more of a cincher again. Or you can make it mid hip which is uh, basically lying right on the iliac crest there. So I actually like that. I'm going to turn that underbust into um, a rounded top line right there because I think that's pretty. So now that I have the top and bottom length and shape that I want, let's look at the different types of closures that you can use. So this one has a closed front here, but what if I want to get in and out of the corset a little bit more easily, you can have a busk here, or you can have it with uh, front lacing if you want. So I'm going to keep it at with a front lacing option. And now I'm going to move on to the boning channels. So you can have single boning channels, you can have double boning channels right there, or you can even have them hidden. You can have the bone sandwiched underneath there if you just want a really clean line right there. I think I'm going to have double boning channels and I'm going to change the color there. I'm going to make it, uh, let's make it more white actually. 
So when you're choosing the color of the boning channels or the fabric actually, you use this little slider here to actually change the color and then you use this little dot, this little pointer here to choose how light or dark you want it. So I'm going to keep it back at white there. And if you want to, you can even choose the color of the binding here. So if I want binding that is a completely contrasting color, I can certainly do that. That looks pretty awful there. <laughs> so I'm actually going to make my boning channels red as well. Let's make it a slightly lighter shade of red and see how that looks. That still looks awful. Okay, so let's turn that back into white binding right there. So you can see you can play around with this and see how different combinations look before you actually commission it. Now if I wanted, I could actually put lace on the top and bottom there. So here you can see the, there's white lace and when you choose the white lace option and you also have front lacing, it turns the lacing at the front here white as well, which is kind of a nice touch. Or I can have black lace trim right there. You see how that's kind of pretty and frilly right there? But I actually like the white lace option. I think that looks pretty cool. So when you're happy with your creation, you can share it with others. So you can do this by taking a screen cap photo if you like. If you're on a PC, then just press shift uh, print screen and if you're on a Mac you can actually go command shift 4 and you, then you can actually choose the dimensions of the area you want to capture right there. The next way that you can share your creation is by using the unique URL right here. So every time you change an option on the doll, it changes the code here in this generator. So then you can email this link to others. So just press copy link and you can see that there's a little pop-up right here. So then you can just copy that and then paste it into an email if you like. So there's also a request a quote function right here. Now this is a functional link, but I am not taking commissions at this time, so please be aware of that. So when you click this, here's the pop-up that appears and it records all of your choices for you, including both your URL and a description of your choices. So you can submit your general measurements here and add any notes if you like. So let me just quickly fill this out and it gives you circumferential measurements and also vertical measurements so you can have it all in one place add any additional notes or requests like I want both front and back lacing not just the front all right and so when you're done just press request a quote and here I am in my inbox and you can see there's the email to get back to you. Here is the materials and all the choices that you have, the colors there. When you click on that, you can see that it shows you the color right there and also the measurements that I had provided and the link to the original design. So if I click that, it, then it should come up and there you go. This email is sent to both me and you as long as you put the your email address right there. So if you want to have a copy for yourself, then that's provided for you and you can just email this to any course of tier you want. Um, the original idea for this was that, um, you know, you would send it to me and then I would give you a quote if I were to make this commission for you. Um, but since I'm not taking commissions right now, then uh, pretty much any course of tier can use this. So in the future, I would like to add some more features to this, like maybe limited placements of lace applique, um, a small bit of flossing, maybe lattice work, possibly different silhouettes, although that would be harder to pull off. But I sincerely hope that you like this game. Please go play and let us know how you like it. Feel free to show us your designs. Uh, I'm thinking of making a basically a designer gallery. And I recently changed web hosts to be able to support this game. So a small number of you may get a page not found notice if you try and click on this link. So if this is the case for you, please send me an email so we can organize all the information easily. But I really hope you enjoy this and um, please let me know what you think. So thank you all and I'll see you guys in a few days for the next video. Bye.